South Carolina Republicans continue their push to allow state money to be used by parents for private school tuition. A panel of House members took up a school voucher bill this afternoon. Our Jason Raven has the latest for you from Columbia. Ahead of this afternoon's House Education and Public Works Committee meeting, former Florida governor and 2016 Republican presidential candidate Jeb Bush spoke to the South Carolina House Republican Caucus. More than two decades after signing Florida's school choice bill into law, former Governor Jeb Bush was in South Carolina urging Republican lawmakers to expand options in the state. The world gets better when parents are making more choices and there's lessons along the way to make sure it's done right, that there's accountability, that there's fiscal accountability for sure. But the idea that parents know best for their kids is irrefutable in my mind. He spoke to the House Republican Caucus Tuesday afternoon. The GOP-backed bill they're considering would give parents taxpayer-funded $6,000 education scholarship accounts or vouchers towards things like private school tuition or other education expenses. The program would be phased in over time. In its first year, it would provide up to 5,000 of these scholarships to eligible children and their families. Now that number could rise up to 15,000 once it's fully implemented. The ESA provides a lot more flexibility for parents to make these you know, choices. So I, I think the state then can play a constructive role in two ways. One, make sure that there's fiscal accountability. Critics of the legislation say this use of public money violates the state constitution. Public school advocates also express concerns about possible discrimination of students with disabilities who may not meet admission requirements for private schools they may want to attend. If we truly want to provide choice to parents, we need to consider a couple of things. First of all, is access. All right, and so this bill that has been passed, as was stated earlier, provides private schools the opportunity to pick and choose what students they will serve. Now the bill passed the state Senate with a 28 to 15 margin in January. Now that vote was mostly along party lines. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News. The House Education Committee did not take any action on the bill today, but does plan to meet later this week.